Hello, today I'm going to introduce you to the subject of dynamic epistemic logic. Please refer to the book wrote by Hans van Ditchmark, Whip van der Hoek and Bartol Kui. For instance, we will cover the following topics. The logic of knowledge and belief, public announcement logic, and at the end, dynamic epistemic logic and multi-agent systems. Multi-agent epistemic logic refers to the logic of knowledge, and it includes model operators for groups, such as general and common knowledge. So, let's start with a couple definitions. We can know an agent as a defined subject who has a certain perspective of the world. Also, we can define knowledge as a kind of information we have in mind that is meaningful as a whole, and a belief in a lesser extent of the knowledge. We have this concept of information due to the fields known as epistemic and doxastic logic. Given the last couple concepts, dynamic epistemic logic is the field which studies the information that the agent may have, even when the bare facts of the world don't change. Start with the epistemic logic. Epistemic logic is very much influenced by the development of modal logic and, in particular, by its scriptic semantics. The logical system S5 is by far the most popular and accepted epistemic logic, and this is used as basic system for knowledge for a group of agents. With this system, we present the language, semantics, and axiomatization in subsequent subsections. Language. The basic language for knowledge is based on a countable set of atomic propositions P and a finite set of agents A. Atomic propositions P, Q, and some more propositions describe some state of affairs in the actual world. In the following, P is an arbitrary atomic proposition for P and A denotes an arbitrary agent from A. Definition 2.1 Basic Epistemic Language Let P be a set of atomic propositions and A a set of agent symbols. The language LK, the language for multi agent epistemic logic, is generated by the following BNF. This notation says that atoms are formulas and one can build complex formulas from formulas using negation, conjunction, and knowledge operators. We will also use other symbols for the agents, like S for sender, R for receiver, etc. For every agent A, the expression K subindex A phi is meaning as agent A knows that phi. Please note that the epistemic language is a rather simple extension of that propositional logic. All these properties are maintained in the following cryptic models. L1. All knowledge is enclosed under circumstances. L2. All the agents know the validity of S5. L3 to L6. It is assumed that every agent can do logic deductions with given knowledge. L7. All internal knowledge is consistent. Semantics. For semantics, we need to use a formal treatment of the logics of knowledge for individual agents within a group. Crucial is the approach to epistemic logic is the use of its semantics, which uses a special case of cricky models. In such a model, Two notions are of main importance, the state and the indistinguibility. Let's use the following example to represent the state and the indistinguishability. Suppose we have one agent, say B, who lives in Groningen. For some reason, he builds a theory about the weather conditions in both cities, Groningen and Liverpool. In Groningen, it is either sunny or not sunny, likewise for Liverpool. 
sunny or not sunny. If for the moment we identify a state with a possible state of the world, then a priori we have such four states. Sunny and not sunny for Groningen and sunny and not sunny for Liverpool. In which the weather in Groningen is again sunny but not in Liverpool, etc. Since B is situated in Groningen, we can assume that he is aware of the weather in Groningen, but he cannot say how is the weather in Liverpool. In other words, he cannot distinguish a state of the sunny or not sunny state in Liverpool. This situation is represented in the Kripke model M1 of figure 2.1, where in this Distinguishability of A and B is represented by a narrow labeled with B. The points in this model are called states, which are in this case indeed states of the world. The arrow labeled with an agent B going from state S to T is read as given that the state is S, as far as B's information goes, it might as well be T, or in state S. The agent B consider it possible that the state in fact is T. Definition 2.6 Given a countable set of atomic propositions P and a finite set of agents A, a Kripke model is a structure as shown, where S is a, is a set of states. The set S is also called the domain of M. R super index A is a function yielding for every A that belongs to the A set and accessibility relation R super index A that is a subset of the cross product of S cross S. We will, we will often write R sub index A rather than R super index A and freely mix a prefix notation with an infix notation. B super index P is a valuation function for every P that belongs to P set yields the set B super index P that is a subset of S of states in which P is true. We will often suppress explicit reference to the sets of P and A and represent a model of the Kripke model as shown. Proposition 2.11 Let phi and c be formulas in language k and let k sub index a be an epistemic operator for an arbitrary a agent that belongs to the a set. Let k be the set of all Kripke models and S5, the set of Kripke models in which the accessibility relation is an equivalence. Then, we hold the following. The fact that the properties hold in all Kripke models is referred to as the problem of logical omniscience, since they express that agents are omniscient, perfect logical reasoners. Axiomatization. A logic is a set of formulas. One way to characterize them is semantically. Take a set of formulas that is valid in a class of models. An axiomatization is a syntactic way to specify a logic. Definition 2.16 The basic epistemic logic, K, where we have an operator K subindex A for every arbitrary agent that belongs to the A set is comprised of all instances of propositional tautologies, the K axiom, and the derivation rules modus ponens and necessitation, as given in the table 2.1. Definition 2.17 Let X be an arbitrary axiomatization with axiom AX1, AX2, until AXN and rules RU1, RU2 until RUK where each rule RUJ 
using j less or equal to k is of the form from phi1 to phi j ar infer phi j. We call j ar the arity of the rule. Then, a derivation for phi within x is a finite sequence phi1 until phi m of formulas such that 1. Phi m equals to phi. 2. Every phi i in the sequence is either an instance of one of the axioms ax1, ax2 until axn or else the result of the application of one of the rules are uj using j less or equal to k to j formulas in the sequence that appear before phi i. We have the understanding that an announcement always become common knowledge and one could have modeled them indirectly by referring to their pre and post condition. The precondition is the announcement formula and the postcondition common knowledge of that formula. When we talk about the dynamic ways to grasp information, we mean that the statement is not given meaning relative to a static information state, but related to the dynamic transformation of one information state into another information state. Such a binary relation between information state can be captured by a dynamic model operator. Definition 4.4 Given are a finite sets of agents A and a countable sets of atoms P. The language LKC given AP, or when the set of agents and atoms are clear or not relevant, LKC, is inductively defined by the next formula, where the small a represents an arbitrary agent that belongs to the set of agents, B is a subset of the a set and the small p represents a proposition that belongs to the set of propositions p. Without common knowledge we get the logical language lk given ap or lk and the second formula is the result of these assumptions. Semantics the effect of the public announcement of phi is a restriction of the epistemic state to all factual state where phi holds, including access between state. So, when we announce phi, it can be seen that as an epistemic state transformer with a corresponding dynamic model operator. We need to add a clause for the interpretation of such dynamic operators to the semantics. Principles of the logic of public announcements. If an announcement can be executed, there are only one way to execute it. Besides, not always it can be executed. In other words, the announcements are partial functions. Proposition 1. The announcements are functionals. Proposition 2. The announcement are partials. In other words, truthful public announcement can only be made if they are indeed true. Proposition 3. The public announcement and the negation. Proposition 4. All the following is equivalent. Proposition 5. All the following is equivalent. Proposition 6. Composition of the public announcement. Proposition 7. Public announcement and knowledge.